Great force, double damage you give and take. I actually like this one a lot. I'm crazy. You would be. You would be. Though so honestly, I think it's now's not the good time to use it. Though so it could what? be great with um in pair with uh the experience once you do battles quick. Mm-hmm. Yep. It probably is good for grinding against weak enemies when I think about it. And standard enemies in general, but for bosses it's a little scary to want to go that far. But hey, at least you have the option. Why we can go through here! Have fun! Yes, you know I will. You can pop out of the ground, I think. There's not much else you can do over here except go through this. Oh yeah! Gotta love this. Huh. Classic 2D. Yep, they got this in here too. And even to the point that you're having to hit something and take damage, which if we see it happen, it'll happen. But yep, just be careful, try to dodge everything. Because otherwise, it won't be that fun for you. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. What the hell? Is that a mole? Congratulations! Excellent job making all the way here. Let me commemorate this moment with this. Please take it. Oh, the mushroom! Here's what happens. You get a weird altered version of the death music as well. <laughs> yep. yep. And you yep. should restart the given <clears throat> section. Talk to him again. What's that? You want any more commemoration? Well, I'll you the greedy one. No more for you. Oh, come on! I just got through here again. No! No! Get the hell out of here, dude. Oh, free. Everybody fuck. gets one. Yes, and only one. Cheapskate. I gotta go in shroom, bro. Really? We can eat that shit. No. It's a time place for everything. You're right. We'll kill Bowser, then we'll eat. Now we're talking. Anything can be all for it. Yep, now we need to get the upgrade that allows us to break those purple rocks. That's what we need to do next. Yep. So I don't want to mess around and see if I can find some. Yep. Oh yeah, we get the warp plate here too. Ooh, also a thing to dig. I don't think we got this one yet. I also made sure not to go out of my way to try to dig up anything else. I remember I thought about doing it on my way back to the Blue University. I was like, oh, wait, that would be bad. <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck with everyone else. Yep. We need to have the ability to go underground to get to this pipe. So I kind of unlocked it anyway, like I thought we could have. I forgot to mention, when you first get to the BB outskirts here, this is where you run to the moment of the remake where you unlock the uh, Bowser's Minions mode, for those that care about the remake. And with that, we now have 1 through 5. Hooray. We can walk between these areas whenever we want now, as long as we get to them, of course, through one pipe to the other. Where do they have all those statues just staring at the Beaming Castle? They're just staring menacingly. Who is there? Stand, there's their standing guard doing nothing. Well, that's profit security the whole castle has. Wow, it actually makes Peach's security look good. You got it right the first time. Yep, it's always hard to remember. That's definitely thing it'd be a little clunky in this game. Have it swap between them and make sure you yeah, have the right thing. Thankfully, it's just a feel thing, which I don't mind too much. Yep. By the way, new enemies. We can deal with them now. They're not that bad now. Ow! They are fast though, especially the flying troop troopy. Damn it! We can avoid it! Watch out for the Tanumba. They can be a little threatening. Honestly, you probably could have dealt with them before you went to Woohoo University, but now they're a joke to you. They're easy to deal with now. So, yeah, you can walk through I these enemies. Beans. You can walk through these enemies pretty easily. Ooh, an electric thing. Oh yeah, I might be able to get another item up there. Or that way. Oops, hit the mic. My man. Yeah, I think we can hide jump up there. I think. Yeah, but first, murder! I love murder! It makes you feel alive! God damn it, bro. How do you want to live? Watch out, the brother that he's not is the one he's attacking. Yep, he's I always want. Yep, I yes. always want the opportunity to beat up Mario with what? Same goes for me! You wanna beat yourself up? Make you idiot! Ooh, a cave! Block fortune. Today's like a block is the semi block. Ah, uh, yep, the semi blocks. Hit them simultaneously, you can get secrets to unlock. 
So, yep, this is one of the weirdest implementations of Mario Luigi's platforming. Yep, these blocks. I don't think they have them. I don't think you have to do anything like this in the main game, though. Yeah, this, these are all optional. God damn it. Oh, the other way. It's not until later games in the series they force you to do this stuff. Starting with partners in time. Yep. I wonder if I even noticed these when I first played the game. Yeah, I mean... This will be easy to miss. Yeah! Then again, I don't know how many people come this far of the beaming outskirts. Congratulations! Excellent job making here. Let me commemorate what we're going with this. Please take it. Wool Trousers! I think you get healing from that and extra defense. It's better than what all of them have, I think. Oh no, this HP auto gain. You recover HP every turn. Yeah, not very really good. Yeah, never mind. It's decent. Especially if you can't dodge, but, you know, dodge. <laughs> Learn to dodge. As long as you do that, you don't have anything to worry about. Ooh, beans. You don't even need more chuckle beans. Take them all! We need all the chuckle beans. If you tell me, don't ever tell me there's not enough beans. We need all the beans. Yes, we need every single bean. I'm gonna be crapping my brains out tonight. I didn't need to hear that. I'm gonna be crapping my brains out tonight. God damn it! Oh yeah, the number two warlord they had was Dire Dire Docks. The first warlord from Mario 64. The one of the giant ship. That was a pretty good yeah. one. It was the better of the two slash three water levels of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say three water levels. Because you got Dire Dire Docks. You have Bowser's Submarine. And you have, um... The Weird City. Yep, Wet Dry World, that's the one. Yep. And it definitely was my favorite of the three. Then you have the early levels in Mario 64 are fucking classics. Yeah. Bomb Bomb Battlefield is nice and basic. Dire Docks is a very pleasant water level. Womp's Fortress is a great linear stage. Damn it! Oh well, at least it's not one. At least it's not two either. That's where you come in. The early snow level is pretty good, too. I did love a lot of early game Mario 64. I will admit, as much as I love Sweet. playing... Nice. As much as I do love playing Mario 64, the later game stages I do somewhat not like having to go through all the time. Like, yeah. That's, like, a, that's a problem that... Like, TikTok Clock and, um... TikTok Clock is probably one of the uh, rough ones, and that Rainbow Ride. Yeah, Rainbow Ride is platforming is a lot rougher. Yeah. If it, had, if it had, like, the control of something like Odyssey or Galaxy, it would have been higher than one of the better worlds, but... You always play the DS version. That's not better, though! <laughs> I don't think that's better, bro. Oh, yeah, we do get Woo Beats for these guys. It is a good idea to beat them up right now. I didn't even think about that. Yep. All right, we need Woo Beats for anything. We need them for all of them except for fucking the Hoo Hoo Blend. And, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get the Hoo Hoo Blend until, like... So we get at least the first Bean Star Shard. Because that's the one that, well... We're a good bit away from that, too. Jeez, this guy never it. likes going after Luigi. <laughs> it's like it recognizes my feet. It recognizes the fear that is... I'm a foreigner! How do you even know my feet? It knows enough. I'd be afraid to know where those feet have been. I'll be up your ass in a minute. I would say this almost feels pointless. It's actually not. It's the progress to go further up. I think it's basically going this way for an item. Hey, why not? Yeah, Let's go explore. for it. Yeah, if you bend around this way, you have another. Oh, you can go up here. That's what all this is. Spin jump across the, the brightly colored platforms. That's what it is. Yeah, the late game seems to be a little rough. And yeah, I guess it's kind of the point to have some challenge in there. I mean, would you like everything to be? The most challenging you want for me, honestly, though? Tiny, huge island. Ah, oh, we can't do this anyway. Damn it! It's a waste of time. Yeah, tiny, huge island is always my least favorite, because the coin collecting is rough. And sometimes having to go back and forth be a little Oh, annoying. yeah, that one's also annoying. That's a tough one. Especially the DS version. Because they add a mission of having to go after Klepto again. Fun. Would you have to go after him in Tiny Island? 
And there's a really tiny island that you have to go out in the distance and you need to hit a switch to create a path to get to. Yeah. You have to actually go there for the star which you have collect over the DS version. Fun stuff! Oh yeah, I think they're weak to electricity. Not that it matters, it's their weakest spot. But there you go. I'm much stronger than you, bro. Don't remind me. Oh, I don't know if we got that one. God! Yeah, yeah, why would I get rid of that asshole before I try again? What I say is the number one water level. Huh. Okay. Number one they have is Donkey Kong Country. Coral Capers. Oh, mainly because of the music as well as having them guard. I will say that definitely did make the water levels more pleasant. Please tell me I hit. Yes, I did. And it's Donkey Kong Country 1, so you don't have to worry about finding secrets like you have to do in 2 and 3's water levels. Fuck you. Have you played Donkey Kong Country 1 yet? Yeah, I played it with... Yeah, I played with my friend. I was gonna say I played it with you guys. No, that was 2. That was 2, yep. And eventually... I played with my be... one friend. And eventually next will be 3. Yep. I'm not gonna join for that one too. Probably it's Kitty Con, like the idiot I am. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, I know Kobe's thinking that he wants to be Dixie, because of course he would. Yep. The only thing you need to know about Kitty is that he has his rolling and then uh, water hopping ability. Yep. The, wa the walking on water Kong. Hey, I'll say this. I like three more than one. I mean... Hell, I like three more than returns. Yeah, I can understand that. Honestly. But Tropical Freeze and two are above it still. I still need to play Tropical Freeze. Tropical Freeze is great. I've heard if you get it for less than 40 bucks on Switch, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Because it's, it's good. The characters of having a bunch of characters unique abilities is nice. And the Switch version, you have Funky, who can be all of them, so you can circumvent the need for having the different con cons all together if it bothers you. Yeah, honestly, I would play that game just solely as... Um... Oh, another pipe. Nice. Alright. So let's head back to the city. I think we have a decent amount of boobies. Yeah, we definitely do at least one of those. Alright, oh, it's down south, that's it. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 1 is good. It's nice the water levels you don't have to find any secrets in. That is yeah. appreciated. Unlike 2, we have to dig through boxes and darkness and dig through walls. So, let's see. 2 is my favorite game of the series, but even still, there are some things. Do tea espresso first. May as well. Not the Hulambian, I know we want power. That's the one we don't want to do of those two. Or Chuggachino, either one. I will say tea espresso is my. You need to put the beans in! You gotta hold it down to put the beans in. Are we still need more woo beans? At least we got another one of these. Yep. All we need now is tea espresso and the who blend. Yeah, who blend. One Chuggachino, ready to go. I'm a Chucko. <laughs> Oh no, here we go again. Wait, I thought you said you were coming here! <laughs> Surprise, I've got a video conference! Hiya, Buzz. Weren't you supposed to be here in person this time? Crabs that are made to be broken are too busy by research. Don't tell me you're sending another representative. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no need for that. Because here, this brand new Game Boy Horror found some new warping capability. Just bring the new bee juice and place it before the monitor. It's like a mirror. I know how it works. Just take the fucking thing. Imagine if he got sucked into. <laughs> the war was successful. You ready for Luigi's Ranch and Floor? No! Get away from me! Oh, another mind got me deep favor! What the fuck? Is that a glow? Hey, here's the middle of something I tried in my spare time. Here, what gave you? Give me some new power! The power grip! Now I'm playing with power. Next time I really will be there in person. Just you wait. I'm not waiting. You want to continue with the star bean system? We can't make another unique one. You want to do unique ones before you start making any others, I will say that at the very least. Yeah, it'll make it easier on yourself. Yep, in case you can't tell, each one does a certain stat. Yeah. Woo Woo does HP, Woo Woo does BP, Chuckle does, um, power. Or no, Columbia does power, that's right. Yep, I'll I wait. assume Chuckachino does defense. I think Teehee does speed. Or no, T does stash and Chuckle does speed. That's it. We can always look at it after we get all of them. T espresso, in case you're wondering. That's a different one. That's a weird one. Yeah. It gives you the highest stat increase out of all of them. 
But there's a catch, 22. Yep. Ah, oh, this is the way we want to go. This is where I wanted to be. Um, could you not? I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. God damn it. What other underwater levels they say are good? I love that. <laughs> How? I don't even have to try. Uncharted 3, Great Deception is a great water level, apparently. I can hold- Ow! Oh, good, it's critical. <laughs> a critical failure? Huh. There's an underwater level in Uncharted 3? Yeah. Well, apparently these people liked it. Could have also played Uncharted 3. I'm sure there was some good segments. It sounds like more of the ending is kind of dead. Some segments are bloated, and the ending in particular is The thing is about Uncharted 3 well. was that it was filmed almost as like a side, as like a, with an afterthought, because of another game. It was, the, it was co developed alongside The Last of Us. And The Last of Us got most of the development priority. Of course. God damn, I like the old list better. This one is Call of Duty Ghosts. Water level is number nine. Oh, yeah, the fish physics. Into the deep. I mean, it was different for a Call of Duty game. I guess it was probably interesting. Probably the only good thing a ghost had going for it. <laughs> Suck it, Call of Duty Ghost. Number eight, the Shovel Knight, the Iron Whale. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good water level. Yeah. It was hard, though. That's what made it fun. That was yeah. Great. All the bubble hopping you had to do and hopping on the snakes. Man, Shovel Knight was definitely very demanding of you. Like, you had to really master Shovel Knight to get the most out of it, especially when you have the challenges done. Yeah. That section over the right is useless loop. Colossus 7, from Shadow of the Colossus there again. Coral Caver's Thunder Kong Country is here, number 6. Seaside Game of Odyssey is number 5. Fathoms from Tomb Raider 2 is number 4. Don't know much about Tomb Raider levels, so. though. This is classic Tomb Raider 2, so I have no idea. Now, I'm sure the second game was a lot better than the first. Oh, look at these guys! They moved! Whoa! I was wondering who that might be. It's the good old Mario Brothers. How have you guys been doing? We moved out this way recently. This new place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work. Which is good. Say, hey, are those hammers we made for you to strike your mighty blows? Well, how about we forge them and power them up for you? What do you say? It's free. Forge your hammers? I don't like it! No, I'm it's so cheap! Oh, hey, no biggie. Just say the word to change your mind. I think we need this, bro. God damn it. That's quitter talk. We I mean, try hard enough. Maybe we should burn it and then whack it. I don't think that's how rocks work. Rocks are pretty impervious to fire, but they're not to you. Oh my god, bro. Are you serious? I can't believe you. You stop this right now. What the? Besides, electricity is better on rocks than fire. Wait, you try it to see if it works. All right, fine. Ah, shit. Right. We're supposed to get water for it. You guys have a sink or something? No, we don't need sinks where <laughs> we're from. God damn it! Fine, let's reforce the hammers. We won't have recently. This place is bigger. It's all my bro. We're gonna forge and pop those hammers for you. What do you say? It's free. Forge hammers? Yes, fine. Great. Well, I'll right. well, be back to you in just a sec. The only thing that sucks about this, they don't actually get stronger. Yeah, it's they're... really just plot. Yep. All right, they're ready. And they're ready. More power than ever. Pow, pow! We got super hammers, even though it really doesn't mean a whole lot in the end. Mm -hmm. Now you ought to be able to break the locks you couldn't be able to break before. Go ahead and test those babies out. Just... That's about this bit, bad boy. Come back here again after a while. You never know. You might be able to force our hammers again, make them even stronger. Foreshadowing. Yeah, sure. Damn it! Well, yeah, now you can break purple rocks. Yep. Why well, can't my spin move? That's not the that. God damn it, Mario. Yeah, you want to do this too. I am Thwomp, and I love a good game. Test your luck for a mere 200 coins. This is more what you want most of your coins for, honestly. Are you guys ready to show me the mightiest swing you got? Unfortunately, this is luck. Yeah. This part kind of sucks. Break any one of those that you like with your hammer. You say luck! You're probably right, yeah. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself one incredible treasure. Oh, nice! Yes! You got Secret Scroll number one! Yep, guess what these are for? I think I get it. Um, you need to the second battle. Oh, are you gonna clue me in? It's all I need to know basis, bro. Don't worry about it. You it's a brother's attack! That's all I need to know basis. 
I'll let Julian on it when we put it in action. But I need to know. No, you don't. You shut up. 